Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Sorry if it's been a while since the last time that we did one. Um, I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's just get right to the fight. We have a doozy of a fight, a fun heavyweight fight between Adam Kanaki and Chris Ariola. This fight is happening on August 3rd on the, I believe it's going to be at Fox or something. I'm not exactly sure where it's happening. I know it's being put on by the PBC. Um, I have uh, you know, actually, I'll just talk about Chris Ariola and all that other good stuff. Let's just get to the tail of the tape. Kanaki's 30, Ariola's 38, and Kanaki 6'3, Ariola 6'3, Kanaki 258, Ariola 246, 76 reach for both for both fighters, and um, it's saying uh, 20 fights for Kanaki and 38 fights for Ariola with five with five losses uh let's go right right now to uh the uh particulars it's a, it's a schedule for 12 rounds three minute rounds 10 point must scoring system no mandatory eight count three knockdown rule weight and this is really a crossroads fight it's the kind of fight that you know for kanaki he's open to come in he wants to blast out areola you know areola tough guy but has been stopped three times, um, and um, you know, you know that's that's kind of what what his game plan is. Kanaki's undefeated. Wants to use Ariola as a stepping stone. Ariola is hoping, hey, a victory here, you know, can launch him back into the title picture. And you know, considering that um, Andy Ruiz of Imperial California is uh, now the heavyweight champion, I mean, I think that'd be pretty awesome if there was an all like Inland Empire bout, um, you know, at like the Staples Center in LA between Andy Ruiz and Chris Ariola. Um, we are, and if you do watch Boxing Time TV and you're familiar with this with this show, you will know that I um, I did a simulation of the Chris Ariola bout against Anthony Joshua, and Chris Ariola won. So, no, I'm sorry, not Chris Ariola, Andy Ruiz against Joshua, and Ruiz won. He won differently than in that fight, but there was a moment in the fight, in the simulated fight, that was very similar to what, to what happened um, in that actual fight, in that um, in the simulation, Ruiz dropped Joshua, and um, that, that changed the whole tenor of the fight. Ruiz just kept busy. Joshua never got into it. Joshua had some moments where he tried to come come back, but you know, and I think he even dropped him in the simulation. But ultimately, Ruiz beat him by decision, and in real life, Ruiz stopped him. I want to say in seven rounds. Now, sorry to go off on a tangent there, as we're doing Ariola Kon Kon Konaki. Um, so far, we've had some good action here. I think Kon Konaki is controlling this, but Ariola is answering back, and Ariola has has power. And Ariola sort of struck me as. One of those fighters that, you know, if, you know, when he's focused, when he cares, oh man, there's, there's skies, skies, the skies, the uh, limit. I actually have had the opportunity to converse with him on Instagram, and he was also on an episode of my show on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. So, you know, if you are on Instagram, please look, look me up. Um, I do these simulated fights. I'm going to be doing them more regularly now, two to three times a month minimum. Um, I took a little break, not because I wanted to. I make micro-budget films, and I also work uh, a full-time job and a second job and a third job. We all have our side side hustles, and I just didn't have time to um, do this. So that's sort of why I got kind of ahead doing the um, doing the uh, bout, which is really good. You should watch the simulation of Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. So let's see what the judges say. I think that Konaki probably took took that round. It's 10-9 Konaki. 10-9. 10-9. So, so, so Konaki swept that fight. 10-9 um, on all three judges' scorecards. But Ariola comes out landing hard. He comes out trying to show him, hey, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know, beat me. And um I, I was going to do a different fight today. I was going to do Javante Davis um, versus, I believe um, it was um, Devin Nunez, or it was supposed to be. Um, I'll find out by the last name of Nunez. I'm sorry that I'm not more prepared for this podcast. I do a very, very loose 
simple podcast. Basically, I'm sort of just noise in the background. What you have here is you have the action, you have the simulated fight, and you have me. So, you know, you know, enjoy, enjoy it as it is. And so he's supposed to be, Javante Davis is supposed to be fighting on the 27th. But since the um, opponent was not, you know, locked, locked in, I didn't want to do it. And then all of a sudden it's not the right opponent, blah, blah, blah. So I figured I would do this, let, let like another week go by, and then maybe Javante Davis' situation will get cleared up because we're going to be in July at that point because that's tomorrow. And then I'll figure, I'll figure that out. Both these guys are throwing a lot of punchers. And uh, as Dan Raphael from ESPN said, you know, he said that this was a good bout between two uh, brawlers. So um, it, 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 it is interesting so far and that both of them have taken each other's shots. And, you know, Ariola fighting back, fighting back well, even though, you know, the, the, the judges did give him that. Uh, they did give Konaki the first round. Oh, you have Ariola landing on him and... I'm telling you, Ariola would love nothing more than upend Kanaki, would put him right back in the title picture, and I'm sure he would love to have a bout with Andy Ruiz. Um, once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe to um, Boxing Time TV. Uh, please ring the bell. Please share these links. Let me know. DM me if there's fights that you want to see. I'm here to provide that. And these guys are landing some haymakers now. Kanaki is tattooing Ariola, but I give Ariola credit for taking it and punching back. Oh man, and one wonders how long they can keep up this pace. I mean, these are these are heavyweights, and both of them, you know, over 240 pounds. You know, um, and as, you know, you look at the record of you know both fighters. Ariola has fought the better opposition, but. Um, you know, uh, uh, Kanaki has some names on his ledger, the likes of Arthur Spilka, um, Jesse Barboza, uh, Gerald Washington. Um, so it, it, you know, this is this is an interesting bout. It's um, an entertaining. It, it's entertaining so far, and I'm sure that the real thing is going to be just as entertaining. And I'm happy to be back doing this. Like I said, I'm going to try to do two to two to four, between two and four a month. Um, so we end that round and Kanaki punching Chris Ariola into the ropes. Um, Kanaki is cut over his eye. And this is an opening for Chris Ariola. If he can bloody him, this suddenly becomes a totally different ball game because it'll go to the, it won't go to the cards. Ariola will just get the victory. I've had the pleasure, um, of having Ariola on Boxing Time with Evan on Instagram. It's my quick internet, uh, it's my quick Instagram show. And he was great. And he actually called me out because I picked Bermain Stavern to beat him. And he was very, very nice about it. And I hope he watches that simulation. And I'm actually going to send this to him when I am uh, done. Uh, I, you know, I hope he enjoys it. And that's the thing is, I, even though I, I, mean, I don't know if I know him, you know, I know who he is. Um, uh, I will say this. I, I, I made Adam Tanaki. I did not soften it. I made Adam Tanaki as hardcore and as legit as I could based on my information on box rack, just like I did with Chris Ariola. So you have Ariola now who's counterpunching well, who, who's landing shots on a bleeding Adam Kanaki. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see if Chris Ariola can, can even though he's behind on, on, you know, he's lost two rounds on two of the judges' scorecards, will that, can he, can he do enough to potentially upend the plans of Adam Kanaki at least in this, um, at least in this uh, bout, uh, the sim, the simulated bout. It's a Sunday, guys. I'm happy to be back. I've been cleaning, um, so I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit worn out. Going to go into the movies in a little bit, but here you have Chris Ariola landing his shots, and you know it's hard for me not to root for him, being from California. He's from California, he's from California. but you know I got to be impartial. I got oh wow, Adam Kanaki, just as I'm saying that, lands two uppercuts and drops Chris Ariola. Wow. Oh my goodness. I did in the midst of that, folks, and that's what happens. Wow. Adam Kanaki lands two hard uppercuts, stops Chris Ariola in the third round of this heavyweight bout. It was a brawl from beginning to end. We got some blood. Kanaki showing grit, hangs in there, and upends Ariola. Ariola had his moments too. What a very, very entertaining heavyweight bout. Hopefully on August 3rd, we see, we see more of the same. Here, let's see the uh, particulars. Um, 
Adam Kanaki's winner by a knockout. The fight lasted three rounds. Kanaki was not knocked down and has a cut over his eye. Ariola was knocked down one time. So, uh, yeah, Ariola knocked down one time. And uh, that's uh, pretty, much, pretty much that. Uh, this was a very, very entertaining heavyweight bout. Thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please ring the bell. Let, let people know. Share these, um, share these simulated fights. And um, we'll see you. The next fight we're going to be doing um, is either Javante Davis versus Devin Nunez, which actually happens um, not in real life, but I'm sorry, not on the simulation, but in real life. Could be happening on July 27th. And then um, we also have Derek Chisora versus Ar Arthur Schmilka on, um, uh, on the 20th of July. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. My name is Evan Jacobs. Thank you so much for watching Boxing Time TV.